Life to Live Week on Match Game. She's Tina Roberts on One Life to Live. Karen Winner. She's Gabrielle Holden on One Life to Live. Fiona Hutchison. Comedian Bruce Bow. Match Game Zone. Charles Nelson Riley. Actress and comedian Joanne Worley. And international ventriloquist Ron Lucas with friends as we play the all-new, star-studded Match Game. And here's the star of Match Game, Ross Schaefer. Thank you, Thank you, Wood. Welcome to Match Game, everybody. Thank you all. Well, we have uh, quite a week going here. Of course, the United States Marine Corps is with us again today. We're happy to have them. And, uh, of course, this is One Life to Live week, too. We have two of the stars from uh, One Life to Live. Nice to have you here, Karen and Fiona. But, uh, <laughs> Bruce, but no, no, I, no, we can't ignore this. What is this? Oh, well, Ross, come here and I'll show you what it is, by gosh. <laughs> By gosh. Oh, no. By gosh. You know, we're in the middle of it's a, a water... shower deal, isn't it? Mm -hmm. We're in the middle of a water shortage now. Oh, yeah. So when you're in the middle of a water shortage, or maybe you're in the desert, this cuts down on water usage. I'll show you how it now, works. How does it do that? How does well, it cut down, though? Let me just show you. You put this on your head right here. On my head? Sideways a little bit. There you go. Now, what you can do with this, once it's on there, good, and it yeah. is on hey, there. Hey, it's a good good. fit. By gosh, that can be lathering up your hair, <laughs> shampooing your body, while your hands can be busy washing something else. Oh. Now, you're probably asking yourself, is it adjustable? <laughs> yeah, that's what I... <laughs> well, thank you very much. It does have a medium height. Uh-huh. It has a medium height and another height called party time. Okay. Oh, it does. Nice job. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen that in sharper image. <laughs> uh, let's, uh, let's, I've never been uh, upstaged by a prosthetic before. <laughs> Shall we meet our uh, contestants? Hi. Uh, is this Michelle? Michelle with no E. With no E. With no E. Now tell us about yourself. My name is Michelle Lucas. I'm originally from Gary, Indiana. I'm a sergeant in the Marine Corps. I've been in the Marine Corps eight years, and I've been married seven and a half years to my high school sweetheart. Oh. Nice to have you here. Cliff, how are you? I'm doing fine. Oh, good. Now, now, you don't have as many stripes as she does. So you must be, uh, uh, what are you, a general? Uh, no. Uh, <laughs> my name is Cliff Odenwald. I'm a lance corporal in the Marine Corps. I'm currently stationed at Camp Pendleton. And I'm originally from Mountain Home, Idaho. Oh, you are. Good for you. I hope they're watching you right now. Now, uh, both of you uh, know how we play match game. Object here is to match. We want every correct match is worth $50. The winner keeps his or her money. We'll go on to play super match for a shot at $10,000. And, Michelle, uh, you're sitting there in the champion seat, so we'll let you go first. I'll take B. You'll go with B. All right. Oh, Harry, <laughs> Harry said to the transplant surgeon, Doc, you never should have given my wife the heart from a cow. Oh, no. Right, because <laughs> right now she's in the backyard blanking. <laughs> okay, Fiona, how are you doing with your answer? <laughs> We're okay. We have our answers. Michelle, Harry said to the transplant surgeon, Doc, you should never have given my wife the heart from a cow because right now she's in the backyard grazing. Gra grazing. <laughs> Good answer. I didn't think of that right away. Backyard. She's in the backyard grazing, Bruce. Well, have you ever had that happen when an animal actually darts out in front of your car and you can't swerve, you have to hit it? No. Well, that happened to me the other day. And I thought to myself, maybe I could straddle it with my tires. And I was doing all right, but the animal must have panicked. I heard it hit the back tire. I know I killed it. I couldn't even look. Oof. Poor cow. <laughs> oh, mm. But it was grazing. It was, it was grazing. grazing. Poor cow. Went a long way for that one, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Karen, <laughs> right now she's in the backyard. Now, you guys, you guys, we are already way over our hormone limit for the room. <laughs> All right, Karen. Well, I thought it would have been utterly perfect oh. to have ah. milking. Milking. Yeah, milking. 
And the audience completely I agreed. Tell. I said I'm sorry, uh, uh, Michelle. Mooing. Mooing. Uh, well. Mooing. Oh, she has one match so far. The heart from a cow. Right now, she's yeah. in the backyard. But you know I watch One Life to Live no matter where you I travel. I do. It's my show. I love being here with yeah. these ladies. Because no matter where I travel, all over the country doing my little shows, you guys are with me. It's like taking my friends with me. They're the constant in my life. That and my husband. Yeah. <laughs> so don't holler when I say mooing. Oh, mooing. Hmm. Ask Scorch. Well, I, I'm talking. Yeah. What? Yeah, I'm talking. I'm sorry. Sure, I was asking okay. Scorch a question there. No, I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, do you right. think I could make it as a marine aviator? Uh, <laughs> well, maybe. Cheating. I want to say grazing, but Scorch said eating grass, which eating has got to be the grass. same thing. That is. They match it. The Wicked Gabrielle. Fiona? I was busy trying to... Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and you mooing. said And you said mooing. mooing. Two matches. Okay, Clifford, let's see how you do here. Uh, mean Marvin's wife said, when Mean Marvin asked me to get in the bathtub with him, I thought he was being romantic. Boy, was I wrong. He wanted to use my blank as a stopper. Charles. Tick tock, tick tock. Charles, we are getting incredibly... Hurry up, or we'll, we'll put that shower on your head. I'm sorry. <laughs> he wrote okay. his life. Sorry. Okay, like Cliff, him? Mean Marvin's wife said, when Mean Marvin asked me to get into the bathtub with him, I thought he was being romantic, but I was wrong. He wanted to use my... Face. Face as a That's stopper. <laughs> From the halls Woo. of Montezuma. <laughs> That's well, a good Marine answer. I figured he'd be putting a rear in there. In a the rear. Rear. No, face. That's what we want. Karen? We're looking for face. Well, I kind of went along the lines of Heine. Heine. <laughs> Charles. The part that went over the fence last. The part that went over the fence last. No, no, we're looking for face. Well, that would be good for Dick Fosbury. I didn't know how you could spell it for television, so I just went, but. Uh, but. But, uh, but, but uh, uh. Boy, was I wrong. You know, to use my blank. A scorch of rhyme. Uh, we knew how to spell it, and we said, but. Oh, yes. and you said, but. No. Well, being uh, terribly, terribly British, I had to say bottom. A bottom. A bottom. Yeah. No match. But, Michelle, you're leading right now with 100, and we'll take a short break and come back with matches. Well, one round of play is over. Cliff has nothing right now. Michelle, you have 100. But now it's time to play matchup. And this is where you can build up your score by playing against the clock. Cliff, you're trailing right now, so we'll start with you. Play with anybody. Who would you like to play with? Mm, I'd have to say Karen. You'd have to say Karen. <laughs> I'd have to say you got a little peer pressure. <laughs> now, we're going to show you a series of possible matchups. You choose what you think is the best answer, and then every time you and Karen agree, you get $50. Put 30 seconds on the clock. Get as many as you can. Ready? Go. Open blank. Open marriage. Open sesame. Open marriage. No match. Sand blank. Sand man, sand dune. Sand dune. Match. Janet blank. Janet Lay, Janet Jackson. Janet Jackson. Match. C blank. Seesaw, see through. See through. No match. Law blank. <laughs> law school, law of averages. Law school. No match. Strip blank. Strip steak, strip poker. Strip poker. Match. <laughs> Safety blank. Oh. <laughs> so three matches. Okay, I think I said Janet Lay. That should have been Janet Lee, I should have said there. Ma uh, Michelle, your turn. Uh, Charles. Okay, you and Charles? Oh, good luck. I'm, oh. Okay. $50 a match. Oh. We'll put 30 seconds on the clock. Ready? Go. Separate blank. Separate beds, separate checks. Separate beds. Match. Uncle blank. Uncle Scrooge, Uncle Sam. Uncle Sam! Match. <laughs> Self blank. Self-esteem, self-destruct. Self-esteem. Match. Pack blank. Pack a lunch. Pack rat. Pack a rat. Match. <laughs> Roman blank. Roman numerals. Roman form. Our next team is much less attractive. It's our men's team. 
And they are stars of the Mary Tyler Moore Show, Gavin McLeod and Ed Asner, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to beat you guys. We're going to beat you. Bad. Okay. okay. We'll see. Save it for the game. Uh, I'd like to buy a vowel. You mean vowel. No, I mean vowel. I got stomach problems. After the game. After the game. After the game. <laughs> Let's play the game of word communication where you try to make your partner say the password. Valerie and Gavin have the first clue, and as they look at it, we'd like you to see it at home. The password is Betty White. Okay, Valerie, see if you can get Vicky to say the password. Valerie? Mm -hmm. Frisky. Who are the Rolling Stones? Ah, yeah. <laughs> Getting warmer, and this isn't Jeopardy, so you do not have to answer in the form of a question. <laughs> Gavin. Golden Globes. I'm sorry, Globes is the wrong answer. It is? Yeah. Hey, I got five of them. It's never a wrong right. answer. Okay. Oh, yeah. please. Oh, here he goes. Yeah, there you go. Oh, yeah. All right, yeah, we get it. When did you win those? Did you win those before or after World War II? Okay, here we go. Let's go to the final clue. Gavin. Hepatico cholangio sternostomy. Oh, I know someone who had that. I think it was Betty White. Oh, right, yes. That, wow, that, oh. We are out of fake time to explain what he said. Charge. Service station. Match. Short blank. Short and sweet, short order cook. Short order cook. No match. Mm -hmm. Gloria blank. Gloria Vanderbilt, Gloria Steinem. Gloria Steinem. No match. Mm. Box blank. Box boy, box car. Box boy. No match. Mm. Moving blank. Moving van, moving experience. Moving van. No match. Ah. Sheep blank. Sheep skin, sheep dog. Sheep dog. Match. Yes. Tony blank. Tony Curtis, Tony the Tiger. Tony the Tiger. Match. Yeah. Love blank. Ah, out of time. Got four matches. Okay, Michelle, who do you want to play with? Joanne. You're going to go with Joanne? Yes. All right, here's the situation. You have 750. I'm sorry, you have 600. He mm -hmm. has 750. If you get two right in 45 seconds, you'll win the game. And even if you lose, you're still a sergeant. <laughs> okay, let's put, let's put 45 seconds on the clock. Ready? Go. Quick blank. Quick as a bunny, quick sand. Quick sand. Match. Tinker blank. Tinker Bell, Tinker Toys. Tinker Bell. Match. <laughs> and you win. <laughs> okay, Michelle, come on. Congratulations. Congratulations. Cliff. Cliff, you didn't get you didn't get to this spot, but you do leave us with seven hundred and fifty dollars. Thank you very much for playing. We're going to go away and be right back with our Big Money Super Match and Michelle. Stay with us. Two more. Well, I'm torn between, is it armed force? Isn't that correct? Well, armed, or, armed or is that forces. armed forces? Then I change my mind and I say the force. Like, let the force be with uh, you. The, the force. force. Okay. One more. Uh, Fiona? I go with brute force. Brute? <laughs> okay. Brute force, oh, air force, V force, or one of your own? I'll go with air force. You're going to go with air force? Yeah. Let's we'll see how you've done. What is the uh, $200 answer, please? Magnum oh, force. force. Oh, force. Uh, $300 answer is full force. Oh. Okay, the one we need is Air Force. That's let's it. let's just hope it's behind the five hundred dollar answer, no, is it? it won't. Yeah. 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 No, it's at Delta Force. 
Yeah. 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 I just saw that movie. All right, now, you've won $500, which means you're playing for at least 10 times that, or $5,000, by matching one of our celebrities head-to-head. -head. Double that amount with a lucky spin on the Star Wheel. So let's go up here. Michelle, pick us. There you go. They have to Whoop. turn the wheel. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. okay. Sorry. Dial us. All right. <laughs> All right. Spin the pointer. Let's see who you're going to play with. You get a red Fling dot. Fling that course, sucker. It's worth yeah. 10000 Karen, you're going to be playing for $10,000. Oh, gosh. To win the money, though, you must match Karen head-to-head, -head, and we have to have an exact match, so please, no help from the audience. Turn and face me, if you will. Good luck, Michelle. Thank you. Karen? <laughs> Karen, write down your answer for this. Blank Motors. Blank Motors. answer pretty quickly there. Okay, Michelle, let's turn around here. What is your answer for blank motors? General motors. General motors. All right, now it's on you, Karen. For $10,000, we need you to match General Motors. I was going to say General Motors, but I said... General Motors! Michelle showed up for one day, leaves with $10,800. That's a lot of money. Thank you very much for being on the show. And we will see two brand new Marines on tomorrow's show. And I hope you'll join us, folks. Bye-bye.